My Lolibe puzzle bag has and will always be one of my best purchases in terms of my bag collection. But how does this original Lolibe puzzle bag compare to the new puzzle bag? In today's video, we are going to be talking about the differences between the original puzzle bag and the puzzle bag. I recently have been thinking about potentially getting another puzzle bag, a smaller one, because I absolutely love this bag, like I was saying. But I don't know if I should consider purchasing the new Puzzle Edge or if I should go to the resale market and look at getting an original Puzzle Bag. And that's kind of why I decided let's just do this video together. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, C. Ring Chi. And here we talk about everything, beauty, fashion, luxury, travel, all the good stuff. So if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell notification. And now that that's out of the way, we can get to the real business at hand, which is talking about the key differences between these bags. Before we talk about the improvements that have been made to the puzzle bag, and I don't consider everything an improvement. Um, they're just changes to the puzzle bag because I absolutely love this bag. I've had this bag for approximately four years now. I do have the large size in my puzzle bag and it is one of my favorite bags, like I was saying, in my collection. I love that this bag can be worn so many different ways. It is so versatile. There's five different ways that you can wear your Loewe puzzle bag. Um, you've got that D-ring on the side, making it kind of like a backpack casual, but the structure of this bag makes it so elegant and sophisticated. The soft grain leather on this bag to this day is still so supple and still so nice. And you can see some, you know, um, I've got like a little divot here, but all of these are things that are gonna happen to your bag over a period of time of using them, not abusing them, but using your bag. Um, but I still think that my bag is in great condition um, even the hardware is still in great condition. I keep mine stuffed when I'm when it's not in use, but it is, like I keep on saying, it is one of my favorite bags. And I think that the black detailing with the brown and the gold hardware, even though I don't really like gold, I love silver, um, really makes this bag stand out. It's so iconic. In conclusion, when it comes to my Bay puzzle, I absolutely love this bag. There's very few cons that I see in this bag. I wanna know why the changes, and I, I'm sure that you guys all wanna know that as well. I heard or I read online somewhere that the original puzzle bag had approximately 75 pieces of leather that went into the craftsmanship of making this bag, where the new bag doesn't have nearly as many pieces. There are a few differences when we talk about the construction and the leather of this bag. So the first one being that the new Puzzle Edge actually has an overlap on the leather pieces. Um, this means that there's only a single stitch between each piece of the puzzle. Now on the original, like you can see here on mine, the pieces of the leather actually do not overlap. And I think that's why they called this bag the Loewe Puzzle edge because the edge is much more distinct. Each individual piece of leather on the bag does require um, edging. Um, but what you can see is that because the pieces do not overlap, um, that edging becomes much more distinct. Talking about the edge detail, the edge detail has now changed. On the original bag, on my bag, you'll notice that the edge detail is black and that's why it really pops. When we talk about the new edge detail, the new edge detail is actually in the same finish as the bag. While some sizes of the original bag did come with an adjustable strap, the mini of the original did not have an adjustable strap and now the new mini does have an adjustable strap. So I definitely see that as a huge upgrade. Although we don't see major changes in the hardware on this bag, one of the things that has gone is the D-ring on the bottom of the bag. And this is one of my favorite features. I frequently find myself traveling with this bag and wearing it as a backpack on walking tours or things of that nature. I just absolutely love to wear this bag in that manner. And seeing the D-ring go off the bottom of the bag in the larger sizes, um, because it's only available on the larger sizes, is really it really makes me sad because it is one of my favorite features. Although overall this bag may have a very similar appearance from afar, from a construction standpoint, and when we look at some of the finer details of this bag, there are huge 
dramatic changes that have happened. Ultimately, I do believe that these changes were made because of cost. The cost to produce the Weibe puzzle bag in today's day and age probably was just too much. The new puzzle edge bag does have a much more structured look um, and it does hold its shape a little bit better. But I think that a part of the reason why this bag is so nice is it just lives with you. Um, and I, I love my bag today just as much as I did love it four years ago. Obviously these changes were made for one reason and one reason only, and it was production cost, right? Less leather is required, less pieces, less stitching is required um, that goes into the new bag versus the old bag. Despite me saying all of that, I do like the more structured look of the smaller sizes. I prefer my smaller bags to have a little bit more structure. I feel like um, I'm gonna stuff them full of stuff anyways, but when it comes to like my larger bags, I like them to be a little bit more lived in, a little bit more free, I'm not overly stuffing them. So having that structure for me in a larger bag isn't as significant. In terms of price point, you're going to pay more for the puzzle edge versus the puzzle. And it's really hard for us to say nowadays just because the puzzle is no longer really available. Um, so. Of course, there's been price increases. Everyone's doing price increases day after day, year after year, month after month. So it's hard to really say, well, if the puzzle was on the market today, like how much would it cost? Would it be the same price as the puzzle edge? Um, obviously, all the, the only thing that we can compare it to is the resale, um, which is a new bag. And I always tell people you can't compare the resale market to the new market. They, they, they're not the same. I quickly wanted to talk about a couple of other options to the Loewe Bay puzzle bag if you're looking for a bag. Um, we'll start off with some cheaper alternates to this bag. I would definitely say the Polen Numero Uno bag is an alternate to the Loewe Bay puzzle bag. Of course, this has a more bubbly shape. There's nothing like the Loewe Bay puzzle bag on the market, but um, I definitely would say that one. Another one that I would say would be the Totam um, fold over bag again more bubbly but it has that structure um, and a very similar shape and that sagginess in the center um, when you're looking at the two so I would definitely say that's another one again a cheaper alternative to the Loewe puzzle bag sorry I had to go and look up the last bag because I knew there was one more bag but it was the Esther Ekmet Loon bag um, I also think that that bag is a good alternate it doesn't have as much geometry but I think that that angular front is very simple. Now for bags that are in the same price point or slightly higher, I would definitely say the Bottega Veneta cassette bag, just because of the folding and the, all the pieces that go into the bag, um, I would definitely say that that is very similar. I would also say that the Chanel 19, um, also very similar, just like the slouchiness of it. You know, nothing's gonna have all of the characteristics, um, but the Chanel 19, I think, has that like slouchy look, the top handle, the long handle, um, or the long strap on the bag. So the Chanel 19. Uh, then I would also say the Fendi Peekaboo also, um, just because of that, again, that slope in the front. But I do still feel like the Bay Puzzle Bag is iconic and a, a, a great purchase. Ultimately, it is what it is. The Loewe puzzle bag is no longer available and the puzzle edge is here to stay. So we just have to make a decision on whether or not we feel that the price point of the puzzle edge is justified or not. And like I said, I'm so happy that I have my original puzzle bag in the larger size um, and I'm okay with a more structured look on a smaller one. And I do think that I am going to be purchasing a smaller Loewe um, puzzle edge bag um, to add to my collection, just because I do still feel like it is rightfully iconic on its own. Um, and in terms of luxury bags, I think that it's valued at a great price point. I was just recently shopping for um, a larger bag for work and seeing the price points of designer luxury bags um, that are out there today, it's like, I may as well be buying Chanel. I may as well be buying Hermes. I may as be at be at the upper echelon of designer bags that at least I can get my money out of. And I do still think that Loy Bay is one of those brands. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and until next time, see ya.